Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set prices and run at the vending business machine. Right now I'm going to be heading to the store to, well, start buying everything. And then I'm going to be showing you how to cal calculate all the prices and stuff that you have to buy. Okay, so we are at the store right now and I'm going to give you an example of how you need to put the prices. Here, imagine um, you want to take these chips to sell into your vending business machine. This one actually has 30 and it goes for $12.99. If you divide that, it's gonna be it's gonna cost you around 43 cents. And then if you multiply that by 2.2, it's gonna give you around 95 cents. But you might as well just leave it as one dollar because the other five cents pe people is it's not gonna be able to get anything for five cents. So just put a dollar. It's easier for people to pay for it. And yeah, they're just gonna be like, yeah, that's one dollar. That's fine. It's one bag of chips. And then why did I multiply it by two times two? I need to make at least what I pay for it and double it. Um, since it cost me forty three cents and I multiply it by 2.2, I'm making another 43 cents plus a little bit more, if that's what you gotta put. Since you gotta make money, you gotta make more money than it's costing you to be a good business. And that's why you need to multiply it around by 2.2. If you wanna do it for more and people will buy them, well, that's, that's actually pretty good. You need to find more ways to add more value to the people that are buying so they will be like all right yeah i don't care if uh, one bag of chips is two bucks but they're bringing it to my work so it's saving me a lot of time a lot of gas and it's right there next to my office so people could be able to pay two dollars but i mean if you just multiply by 2.2 and it's costing you 43 bucks and you're selling it by one dollar that's a pretty good deal you're making a lot of money and it's it's been a good business in this next example, um, is when I'm gonna show you that you need to buy like a big package of sodas so you can make more money off of it and sell it for a higher price. This is what I sell on my vending machine too. These cheese sets sell very good. These ones are $11.99. This is the club size. If you buy the whole box, it's gonna save you a lot of money. Yeah, it's gonna cost you a little more but it's gonna bring you more value and you can sell it for way higher so if you if you divide 11.99 between the 45 bags it has it's around 26 cents so if you multiply 26 by 2.2 it's gonna actually give you around 56 but I usually just sell them for 50 cents because it's easier for people just to look at them and be like, oh, that's 50 cents. Yeah, I'm just going to have a little snack. And then since it's salty, I just have a lot of Coke, Sprite, 7-Ups on the other vending machine so they can get a soda. And now we are done. Now let's put everything in the car. Claro que sí. Okay, so this is the machine before I refill everything. You can see there is Gatorade on the left side, and there's some sodas that don't sell that good, but you're gonna find out about your market when you start selling. And this is the machine after I stock everything. There's Gatorade on the left side, and there's something I wanted to show you guys. There's actually the same Coke on two different racks. 
There's one in Spanish, Coca-Cola, and then one in English, Coke. And the funny thing is that the Coca-Cola sells like 40% more since all the workers here are Latinos. And then the other vending machine with chips, have candies, cookies, bubblegum, peanuts, snack bars, Skittles, everything. Okay guys, well, um, this was it for today. I wish I could have taken more videos, but you know, I'm not supposed to record inside. But I hope you learn a lot of things from this so you can start your own business on whatever you like. So you have a better understanding of how to set the prices and how to get good deals on the vending business machine. Uh, and if you're in high school or you're just a teen and you don't have a lot of money to invest in a big business, you can start with this. This doesn't require a lot of time, a lot of money, and it's easy to do. You know, so I hope this will help you in your life so you can increase your income. But one second, this is the real question. How much money do I make from my banding business machine? Okay, so this is what, uh, what I collected today from the banding machines. It's around 150 something. These are fives and these are ones. Since we actually multiply it by two times two, we own 60% of this money. So 60% of 150, it's, it's around $90. So our profit for one week of vending machine of 150 gross, it's around 90 a week. Um, it depends on the vending machine and how much you make and how many pro products do you sell. But well, you saw what I what I was selling in the vending machine. Uh, that's how much you make on on that location. I'm planning to get more in the future, but right now, you know, I'm just trying to to learn about this business because these were my first vending machines that I that I'm trying to to run, right? So it's gonna always depend on on the vending machine. You can probably make less, you can probably make more. It really depends on the location and how many people are there around that that are that can buy. So I hope I hope if you get a vending machine you do great. And and if you watch my my YouTube videos you're gonna do great. Don't worry about it. The the tips that I'm giving here are gonna make you a lot of money. So if you enjoyed this video, just give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more.